change yesterday. Wow. He was all over the world. Thank you for your prayers and your support. The Lord will reward you in a mighty way. Yes, I'm not here to preach this Sunday morning. But I'm here to thank you so much for being there for me all this while. And also being there for our brothers and sisters, the youth all over the world, all this while. Wow, what manner of love is this? People have been praying, even while I was at the prayer mountain. I just came back this morning. I said, wow, I must come to show appreciation to you all. In fact, as a matter of fact, I'm touched. I'm touched. I want to go on my knees to appreciate you all. Wow. Thank you. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your support. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I have to appreciate you so much, viewers all over the world, because many people were saying, wow, for this young boy to enter the bush, the wilderness, on behalf of we youths, on behalf of we brothers and sisters all over the world, wow, we are ready to fast with him, we are ready to pray with him, and we will not stop fasting and praying until he comes out. As I have to come back and let you know that, please, break your fast. God has answered our prayers. Please go and eat, because it's not easy. So I really appreciate you all. I want to let you know that God is merciful. He has had our cry, and uh, definitely solution has come. But mind you, salvation is not by force. It's a personal issue for whosoever wills. Yes, and I know many people were saying, wow, what could make White Mandania to be in the bush in the wilderness for so long? He doesn't want to come back home. But well, please, I'm back home. Here I am. <laughs> ah, why, why? Ah, in the rain, in the sun, in the night, in the mountain, why, why, why? So as young as he is, supposed to be moving around, enjoying himself, why, 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 why? Yes because of my love for my brothers and sisters, youth all over the world, because I'm also a youth. Yes, I feel concerned. So that is it. I keep saying, why, why, why? Well, that is why this morning I say, wow, I must come and give you the full package of the whole revelation, because right in the prayer mountain, I just gave you one out of many, just few because of time. And I want to let you know the reason why. Because when the revelation came, I was afraid. That's why I had to take it up. But that price, I have to pay. I don't mind. It is better to die in the bush and have a good record in heaven than to die as a smoker, die as a fornicator, die as an arm robber, die as a froster, bringing bad image home and everywhere. If one dies like the apostles of old, I think it's better than to die a shameful death that children yet unborn will live to see and say, over my dead body. But we are to keep a record that children yet unborn will see and say, oh, praise God for this man, praise God for this woman, praise God for this girl, praise God for this boy. I think that's the best record, that people will point at your grave and say, oh, God bless this man for living a good life. God bless this man. For living a good life. God bless this woman for living a good life. For God bless this person for living a good life. People should refer to you and make reference to good character, good record that you leave behind before you pass on to glory. I think that's the greatest achievement. More than money, more than silver or gold. That's what we are born for. That's what we are living for. And that's what we are going to die for. For the sake of Christ. So, for that reason, I want to let you know it is true God has answered our prayer, but there's need for me to read exactly the full revelation so that we can be very careful. It is true our prayers are answered, but definitely the Bible says without sign you cannot believe. John 4 verse 48, without sign you cannot believe. That must be a sign. 
for you to know that God is great. But the question is, why would you, as a youth, allow yourself to be used as a scapegoat in this matter? Why? 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 This revelation has been shown to many people before now. Take note of this language. It has been shown to many people, many people, many people, many people, many people, many people before now. But why was it difficult to bring it to the youth? Why? Was it difficult to bring it to the youth as a warning? Why? 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 Hmm. The question is, if you are good at eating granite, is it possible for you to speak against granite? <laughs> that's a big parable. That's a big parable. Mm. That's a big parable. That's a big parable. That's a big parable. Well, I'm here to read this revelation, full revelation, how it came, everything. Let me tell you one thing. Do you know that as you have satellites here on Earth, so also there's satellites in heaven, as you have your TV, screen so so there is a, a divine tv screen the revelation i went through was just for 30 minutes and i was taken to a journey of three days take note of my language i slept for only 30 minutes but i was taken through a journey of three days and in that journey i would sleep and wake up i would sleep and wake up i was taken to different areas i saw heaven i saw hell i was also activities So I will not say more than that. But I'm here to read exactly the message, everything. So and after that, I will leave you here in faith. And next Sunday, I will meet you in faith. Because I thank God for the strength. So far, so good. God still answers prayers. Take note of that. He's still in heaven. And he still answers prayers. If somebody tells you that God does not answer prayer, that person need to be checked. God is alive and is the God of the universe. He still answers prayers. So once again, I thank you, our mothers, our fathers, our brothers and sisters, ministers of God, friends, believers, who took it upon themselves to go into fasting and prayer with me. Be happy. God has heard our prayers. But salvation is not by force. It's a big word. So I'm going to read exactly how the message came in appreciation of your commitment with me. So far, so good. So I'm going to read exactly. Now, it is captioned, Revelation concerning youths all over the world. Now, I will read everything. If there's room to explain anything, that will be later. But I just want to read everything. Viewers all over the world, this is Wiseman Daniel, your brother, your son, and your friend in the Lord. Thank you for your prayers and your support while I was at the prayer mountain. And with due respect, I also want to thank Christians, believers, and ministers of God all over the world who joined me in praying for God's mercy and favor upon we youths all over the world. The Lord is our rewarder. God has heard our cry to him and he has promised to rescue as many as return to him in sincerity and humility of the heart. I was at the prayer mountain in the wilderness looking for a place that is very conducive to speak to God Almighty on behalf of youths all over the world by the special grace of God Almighty, I am one of the youths. And what I saw in my revelation gave me serious concern. And I, 
and I gave you one out of many because of time. Now, listen to the full and comprehensive revelation. I was in my vision, and I saw the gate leading to hell, and I also saw the gate leading to heaven. At the entrance leading to hell, Satan was standing there. While at the entrance leading to heaven, our master Jesus Christ was standing there. All of a sudden, I saw the exodus of youths coming. But what surprised me was that majority of the youths I saw were having their earpiece on them with their handsets, some putting on crazy or turned jeans, some ladies were dressed half naked, some boys brought their trousers or pants below their waist, and other dirty things I cannot say here were happening among the youths. And they were all dancing to worldly music and at the same time marching towards hellfire. Only few youths were marching towards heaven. And immediately I saw angels shouting, Don't go! Don't go! The number of those marching towards hellfire were more than the number of those marching towards heaven. But my joy is that at least many youths marched towards heaven, but majority marched towards hellfire. Wow. There is nothing bad in science. There is nothing bad in using technology. There is nothing bad in using handsets or gadgets. Everything that is good has both advantages and disadvantages. But we, children of God, should be wise enough to take the advantages and do away with the disadvantages. Many youths today, instead of getting married to Jesus Christ in their hearts, they are married to their handsets or electronic gadgets. You see them watching pornography, masturbating, and fornicating. The spirit of fornication has taken over the heart of youths all over the world. Many youths are possessed with destructive demonic spirits. Through these handsets or electronic gadgets, they are addicted to. If you see a boy or a girl run away from their parents' houses and join bad gangs or bad company, it is as a result of their handsets. The highest number of infidelity and divorce in matrimonial homes today is as a result of handsets. The greatest tool or weapon Satan is using nowadays to capture and destroy youth all over the world is their handsets. Now, in my revelation, I could see that the love for the things of God is fading away in the hearts of young people today because of their love for their handsets. What they watch and do with their handsets and those things make them become extremely depressed because it is the spirit of depression. Because it is the spirit of depression. And what God showed me is that if young ladies, young men, 
young people don't return to God and begin to have heart for God by next year, 2021. Mark my words. Their love for their handsets or electronic gadgets will lead them to acquiring or becoming afflicted with deadly and terminal diseases and sicknesses that will be incurable. You will be surprised to find young boys having cancer or other deadly diseases. And this will make the productivity and performances of many boys and young men to be zero. You will be surprised to find young girls having cancer, tumor, and unusual fibroids. And this will result to the removal or cutting off of major reasons God created them as girls, ladies, or women from their bodies. <laughs> Many ladies will become single and childless because of this. Many marriages will definitely hit the rock of divorce because of this. And you will be asking yourselves, how come about all this? Remember that you cannot eat your cake and have it. And as you lay your bed today, so you will sleep on it tomorrow. Before I go further, I want to explain here, because I was taken to hospitals where some ladies come for operation. You'll be surprised that somebody will have little sickness. When he goes to a hospital, a journey, it may be a journey of no return. A lady will say, oh, I have fibroid. By the time you go for operation, they will give you options. Remember, take my words, I said, let me repeat that area. I said, said, you will be surprised to find young girls having cancer, tumor, and unusual fibroids. Let me explain. The normal fibroid I knew right from when I was born is a fibroid that stays, this is the womb. Let's assume this is the womb. It stays like this on the womb. And when the doctor does CS on you, easily they will pull up the fibroid. But this fibroid here is demonic. That's why I was looking for language to describe it. The way I saw it, the best word is unusual, uncommon. How do I mean? Instead of sitting on the womb to make it easy to be removed, it will grab your womb like this. And it will be cemented with the womb. It will become part and parcel of the womb. What does that mean? <laughs> you know what it means? And the doctor will give you an option. Young lady, if you leave this fibroid, it will take your life. And the easiest way to remove this fibroid is to pull your womb. What does that mean? You have become a man. Physically, you are a lady, but by nature, you have become a man. Because what makes you, take note of the language, I say, what makes you a girl, a lady, a woman, will be removed from you? It's a serious issue. I told you, I slept for only 30 minutes, but I was taken to a journey of three days. You know what that means? Let's continue. As a result of the spirit of lust, fornication, masturbation, and pornography, young boys and girls, youth all over the world will be experiencing some strange happenings as a result of serious demonic attacks. Severe spirit of depression and thoughts of suicide will be common among young people. I explained what I said here. They will be experiencing strong and irresistible voices telling them to carry out the following devilish activities of destruction on themselves. 
telling them to carry out the following devilish, devilish, devilish activities of destruction on themselves. I repeat, telling them to carry out the following devilish acts of destructions on themselves. One, kill yourself, a voice. You can't resist it. Only God can rescue you. When he possesses you, <laughs> you see death as easiest way for comfort. It's a deceptive spirit. You want to go. 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 When he enters you like this, you, can, you become hyperactive. You want to go. You want to go. You become, everything about you will be irritating you. Everything about your family will be irritating you. The next thing is death. 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 It's a voice. God, 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 only God. I repeat number one. Remember I told you, let me repeat here so that I take notes. Severe spirit of depression and thoughts of suicide will be common among young people. They will be hearing strong and irresistible voices telling them to carry out the following devilish acts of destructions on themselves. One, kill yourself by any means at your reach. Two, undress yourself and go out naked. Start misbehaving. This is mental problem or madness. This will be very common among youths. This will be very common among youths. This will be very common among youths. Take note of that. Number three, jump into that pit. Jump into that hole. Jump into that swamp. Jump into that canal. Jump into that lagoon. Jump into that river. Jump into that sea or ocean. It's a spirit. Number four, jump down from a very tall building. Number five, take overdose of those drugs, that chemical, or inject yourself. Number six, use that weapon on yourself, or go for that sharp object. Use it on that lady. Use it on that man. Number seven, jump out of this vehicle. Run into that vehicle so that it can run over you. Jump into that railway track because life is boring and nobody loves or cares for you anymore. These are voices. These are voices. These are strange voices. Number eight, just hang yourself and let it be over once and for all. Number nine, Go and get pregnant. Abort the pregnancy. Silent the voice of that baby. You know what I mean by that? Silent the voice of that baby. You know what I mean by that? You are too young for that. Through this means, many womb will be empty. Even if the Manage, take note, even if they manage to settle down in future, many wombs will be empty. Number 10, many youths will see stealing, killing, and destroying lives and properties as a culture. Youth will be ready to do anything to get money and feel belong. These are not ordinary. There are spirits at work. These end times. Take note of this. The demons in charge of all these strange things have been released by Satan into these electronic gadgets. And once they possess their victims, their grip of forces are irresistible. 
only God can rescue their victims. One thing is certain here. Those who are candidates of heaven have a mark on their forehead. Oh, God is great. If you're a candidate of heaven, a bona fide member of the household of faith, a chosen generation, you don't go alone. There's a mark on your forehead. As you are going, devil, they see that mark and they know their boundary. I repeat. The demons in charge of all these strange things have been released by Satan into these electronic gadgets. And once they possess their victims, their, their grip of forces are irresistible. Only God can rescue their victims. One thing is certain here. Those who are candidates of heaven have a mark on their forehead. Take note of that. And once they pick up their handsets or gadgets, the blood of Jesus Christ automatically covers them up. Wow. God is great. It means if you're a candidate of heaven, the moment you just grab your handset, <laughs> Holy Ghost fire. But if you're not a candidate, well, I don't know. I don't know. I can't say much. If you're a candidate, handset, very nice. Without your handset, you cannot watch me. This is how beautiful it is. Without your handset, you cannot communicate. This is how beautiful it is. Imagine you can be in your country speaking to somebody here in Nigeria. You can be here in Nigeria speaking to somebody outside the country. It is the benefit of the social uh, uh, gadgets, electronics. So wonderful. But going extra miles is the danger. I have handset. Everybody has handset. But the question is, in your privacy, what do you do with your handset? Take note. Agents have been released, and they are hungry. <laughs> they are hungry. Now, one thing is certain here, those who are candidates of heaven have a mark on their forehead. And once they pick up their handsets or gadgets, the blood of Jesus Christ automatically covers them up. And for your information, these demons know the people they go for. If you are going to market, you have a reason to go into market. You know what you are looking for. If you leave your house and say, I'm going to buy clothes, you know the kind of clothes you are looking for. <laughs> and the one that is not your size, you can't go for it. It means you know your boundary. It's a big word. And for your information, these demons know the people they go for. I mean, they know their targets. They cannot come close to candidates of heaven. They know their boundary. Many often say, this urge to fornicate is uncontrollable in me. Youth, I'm talking to you here. I'm also part of the youth. Young people, I'm talking to you here. Listen and listen attentively. Many often say, this urge to fornicate is uncontrollable in me. I cannot stop watching pornography or masturbating. I cannot do without fornicating. I am from a poor family background. That is why I sleep with different men to make money. Hmm. Listen. Something is going to happen that will stop that urge. I repeat, something is going to happen that will stop that urge. What is that thing? Is it cancer or tumor or deadly diseases that will attack or concentrate on specific areas of human body? And when it happens to you, urge will go. I will, you will not be able to fornicate anymore. Please, let us not wait for these things to happen before we run to God. 
for protection or before it is too late. The question is, what will happen that will make you see the nakedness of a woman and your body will not move as a man? The question is, what will make you see the nakedness of a man and your body will not move as a woman? Hmm. 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 There is a way out. The solution is to run back to God and most importantly, watch and pray. Prayer for deliverance. Just to let you know that there's a prayer here. And this is a prayer that is anointed, which I offered on behalf of the youth all over the world, young people, young girls, young boys, all over the world. And also gave some Bible references, such as um, Second Peter chapter 1, verse 21, First Peter chapter 3 and verse 12, Job chapter 33 and verse 15, Job chapter 33 and verses 16 to 18, and then verses 22 to 28, Isaiah chapter 5, verses 2 to 3, Numbers chapter 11, verses 23 to 25, and last but not the least, Revelation chapter 16 and verse 15. So when you read, after reading the prayer points, you can go through the Bible references. That's the prayer God used me to offer on behalf of the youths. And finally, Youth and viewers all over the world, let us be careful and watch out for the trap of Satan. His agents are many all over the world, and most especially in that thing you are holding in your hand. They will be the ones asking you for friendship and also asking for your pictures and videos that shows you the way you were born. You know what I mean? I repeat that area. And most especially in that thing you are holding in your hand, they will be the ones asking you for friendship and also asking for your pictures and videos that shows you the way you were born. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. These demonic agents look very beautiful and handsome on the outside. But they are very, very deadly. Satan knows that we are in the last days and he knows that it is appointed unto a man to die once and after that comes judgment. And he also knows that there is no repentance in the grave. That is why he is doing everything possible to drag many, to drag many to hellfire before the appointed time. Please, please, and please, don't allow him. Resist him and his agents with the living word of God, and he will flee from you. James 4, verse 7, Ephesians 6, verses 10 to 17. Shalom. Wow, that is a comprehensive list of the prophetic message, revelation I heard about the youths to be on the internet, to be everywhere, have it, show your youth, show your children. Well, from October ending, November ending, December ending, before the end of this year, you start seeing smoke, 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 but the real fire, 2021. You start going, beyond 2021, you start going. But God has answered our prayer. How do I mean? Those who have ear, let them hear the voice of God and come back to him. That is all. Thank you. God bless you. So, viewers all over the world, once again, we appreciate you for your prayers, and your support. So far, so good. God is great. And once again, thank you for joining me in praying for our youths all over the world. We are your children. Please, do all you can to bring us back to Jesus. 
because Satan is hungry. Satan knows he's already a candidate of hell. He knows there's no truth about it, but he doesn't want to be there alone. But say no to his trick. Say no to his deception. Say no to his demand. I come back to Jesus. I pray the Lord will grant us the grace to come back to Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. So if you ask over the word, thank you very much. We'll be expecting your prayer requests, your testimonies, your questions, as usual. And also your suggestions for improvement. No man is an island. We can't go it all alone. We need you, you need us. You are there for us, we're here for you. Shalom. Thank you. Congratulations, viewers all over the world. The hour has come for you and your entire family to be healed, delivered, blessed, and saved through the amazing power of prayer points released by God Almighty himself through his anointed servant, wise man Daniel. Many have been asking for how they could get these prayer points. Therefore, to get a copy of these prayer points, you can contact Wise Men Daniel Ministries as you send in your prayer request through our WhatsApp prayer request line. Plus 234-9021-470247. Viewers all over the world, as you are ready to follow the divine instruction, remember to alert your husband, wife, sister, brother, or friend to get their camera or handset ready to record because something will happen that would make you know that indeed God is great. And at the end, make sure you send us such videos as evidence of your testimony through our WhatsApp testimony line. Plus 234-9015-11 3002 Finally, viewers all over the world, be careful of fraudsters who are trying to use this opportunity to defraud you. Freely, wise man Daniel received these prayer points from God's bedroom and freely he is giving you. These prayer points are not for sale and there is no financial bargain for it. If you pay anyone money to receive it or someone asks you to pay them money to receive it, it will not work for you and you will only end up increasing your problems. So don't be desperate about it. Be patient to get it free from the right source because salvation is free. We can't wait to hear your testimonies. God bless you. Shalom.